when you started in first year, we were 40 students, about 40 students. And uh, as you continue with the number, as you go on to your second year, third year, the number actually reduces. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I'll be graduating with 12 other students. Only 12 are in the final year. What's up beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is Andy, I'll be hosting uh, a final year electrical engineering, not really a final year because he's graduating next week. Uh, he's finished his four years bachelor degree in electrical engineering, BTEC, who is going to really tell you what you need as an electrical engineering to know and uh, to follow so that you can, make, you, you can make it as he made it. All right, guys, please watch this video until the end. There is more useful information for you are trying to do engineering or maybe you are already doing engineering. So like and share. Let's start. from Gatima Mililo in the Zambezi region of Namibia. Well, I chose electro engineering because uh, I love technology and I applied at NAS uh, for the electro engineering field. That's why I'm doing it. I chose NAS because it's one of the good institutes in Namibia when it comes to technology and uh, also it's closer to home. Well, I've been a lab technician here at NAS for the past uh, three years now. Well, uh, BTEC and BEINGE. Uh, BTEC, which stands for Bachelor of Technology, and uh, BEINGE standing for Bachelor of Engineering. So the uh, main difference between the two is that uh, uh, with BEINGE, it's more for a theoretical uh, approach to engineering, and BTEC is more of a hands-on uh, program. So uh, as a BTEC uh, student or BTEC graduate, I would say between the two, BTEC and BEINGE, well, your choice is to come with your personality. To say if you are more of a hands-on person, you can go for the BTEC program, which is a more practical uh, approach of engineering. I was experienced from first year to last year. Was it really difficult or challenging? Well, for me, it was quite difficult, quite difficult. Because in my first year of stud studies, I uh, failed uh, a couple of modules, uh, so especially the math, the math is difficult, the math was difficult, yeah, the math was difficult, but uh, I mean, uh, as you go on to second year, third year, it gets more easier because your understanding, op you are open to, to, to the knowledge of engineering. Well, in the BTEC program, we do a lot of practicals. Uh, we, uh, we deal with uh, we deal with electrical machines, transformers, uh, a lot of circuits, connection, automation. Uh, we do a bit of coding, so it was actually good. We, we did learn a lot from from that. Uh, we did learn a, a lot from that because uh, what we do in class, the theory we do in class is what we actually practice in the, our power labs and uh, the phonics lab. I mean, most important thing uh, as a student is time management. Okay. So if you, if you manage your time right on your studies, uh, uh, doing all the work, the uh, class activities, attending all the classes, doing all the class activities, uh, do a, a bit more research on uh, what you learn in class, that will actually help you in your studies. Okay. Well, in, the, in our program, the electrical power engineering pro program. When you started in first year, we were 40 students, about 40 students. 
and uh, as you continue with the number as you go on to your second year third year the number actually reduces and now uh, I'll be graduating with 12 other students so you mean out of 40 12 only made it only 12 are in the final year it's only 12 of us are going to be graduating this next year. week next week yeah Oh, good. Uh, guys, in, in class, do focus on uh, all your lectures. Uh, if you have a lot more, if you don't understand something, uh, you can ask your, your senior students for help, for guidance. They are actually very helpful. Uh, also, do a bit more research. Do a bit more research in, in terms of uh, if you don't understand something. There's YouTube, there's uh, the library, library you can uh, take, take advantage of that. So this is the basic side of the lab. Okay. Uh, if you take a look at this bench here, this is the type of equipment they use. There we have power supplies, we have uh, RLC panels or load simulators, we have some transformers and small power supplies here. Oh. Yeah. Right. yeah, we have some student projects here, you can uh, take a look. Of some of the student work in their third year wow. of, of studies. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, guys, please subscribe to Eddie, Eddie YouTube and his YouTube channel. Like, follow his page. What's your page? Andy. <laughs> okay, like and follow his page. Yeah. So, thank you for having me. Yeah, right. And yeah.